Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Um, happy Friday everybody. It is Dollar Tree time. I just got back from the Dollar Tree probably about, I don't know, 15-20 minutes ago. So I figured I would get this up in case you guys see something you want to go out and try to find. So first let me just show you what I got. That These are repurchases. I get these a lot there. These are the three pack of little bread trays. Now these are a little bit smaller than your regular bread tray. Um, there's all kinds of tinsel and stuff in here from other things that I got. Lots of it. Little sparkles. So I have to rinse those out. But anyway, I love these. I um, have a recipe and I usually make the recipe for four loaves of um, banana bread and with these I can actually make six. So I love this size. It's a great size and you get three for a dollar. So I got six of those all together. And then, of course, I picked up my favorite garbage bags, the ones with the vanilla scent. <clears throat> Not all my Dollar Trees around here carry these, so when I do get over to the other one, I usually try to grab a couple. I only bought one this time because I had stocked up the last time. And these are the 13-gallon size, and there's 10 bags in here, and they have the handles. And I absolutely love these. I mean, we cram them full of stuff. I've never had a problem, and I, I love the smell. So I picked up another pack of those. And then, of course, you know, I was hungry while I was in there, and I picked up a box of Fiddle Faddle. I haven't had this in a long time. This is a nice size box. It's a six ounce size. And um, they had a bunch of different flavors the caramel, there was the. I can't remember what the other flavors were now offhand. But this is my favorite, so I grabbed this one. And it'll probably be gone in no time. And then, of course, I grabbed another bottle of the Spick and Span. Because this stuff actually sells in my one grocery store for like two sixty nine or two thirty nine, something like that, and it's the exact same size. And I get it at the Dollar Tree for a buck, and you know it's antibacterial, so I like to use it out in my kitchen. And I just wanted to mention last week I purchased this little tape dispenser at the Dollar Tree, and I thought it was really super cute. And a lot of people told me that not to waste your money because they don't work, but I haven't had a problem with these. They seem to work just fine as far as dispensing your tape. So I don't know if, you know, maybe somebody got just a couple bad ones or whatever, but they do work and I, I like it. I think it's really cute. I'm going to keep this right here on my desk and you can even close it. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I was really upset when people were telling me don't waste your money, they don't work, and uh, so I tried it out and it seems to work just fine. But anywho, I picked up a pack of these 22 little mini cups and actually I get these for my birds to play with. They like to bounce around, and especially my Kaik. He loves to just throw these on the floor, which is fine because he has a blast doing it and there's nothing breakable or anything. And they don't really chew these up. They just like to throw them around and play with them. So I got a pack of those for my little birds. And then I found this cute little bunny. And I love these little guys. I want to do a centerpiece with him. And they're hollow inside, so I'm probably going to make this little guy light up just for uh, something cute for like a kid's room or for on your office desk or whatever. So I just thought he was really cute. And it's just like a little plastic frame under there with like the garland wrapped around it. But he's real sweet. So we're going to do something with this little guy because I haven't made anything light up yet for Easter. I love making things light up. And then on my way out I saw these stickers. I thought these were really cute. I didn't buy a ton of stickers today. They did have a couple of new ones there, but I did not purchase them. But I did get this one at the checkout, and there's four sheets in here, and there's 150 stickers. And I just thought these were really cute. You have your little parrots, and I love my parrots. And just all kinds of cute little things. Some little drinks, and flowers, and pineapples, and strawberries. And I just thought this would be real cute for summer for on some friend mail with some cards and packages and things. You guys can see that. It's hard for me to see what you're seeing here. I have to kind of lean over towards my window. I know sometimes it gets glary, but I think it's alright. Because the sun is actually out for a couple minutes here today. It's not supposed to be too sunny today. But it is almost 70 degrees outside, so I'm not going to complain. So, those are pretty much the stickers I got. The only other stickery things I got was I found some more of the gem stickers. And I get these every time I see them because this was all that was left on the shelves already. So I grabbed them all. 
I don't even know what I have here. I got three more of the pink, and I love these. They come off in a nice strip. I like doing these on a lot of different little centerpieces and little holiday decorations. And you get 315 in here. And then I got two of the red, and I got a green, and one blue. That's all they had. They did not have any clear. The clear is very hard to find. You know, the one that looks more like little diamond gems. But yeah, I never seem to find those anymore. But I think that is all the stickery stuff that I picked up this week. And I did use a lot of these for Easter and for uh, Valentine's Day and stuff, so I was really running low. And I just grabbed another one of these foam blocks. This is the 2.9 by 3.9 by 3.9 little foam floral block. I use these in lots of my decorations. And I did find these. These were all sold out well, for a while now. I would say for like the last two weeks. I couldn't find any more. I think I got the last one the other week when I was there. But they had a full stock of these back in. So if you're still looking for these, they're still coming out. So it's a four piece. And it's like the little foam carrots and they're wrapped like in an orange jute string. They're really cute. I love decorating with those. And then I picked up two more packs of the these little Easter eggs. I thought this one was really pretty. I don't think I've had these before. Um, I've seen them, but I don't think I've had any of them. There's 12 pieces in here, and they have the little, you know, like ribbon, so you can hang them on like a little tree or whatever, but if you want to just decorate with them, those little ribbons, they pull right out really easy, and I use them in a lot of my decorations this year, too. And then I picked up another pack of these. These I used before, but I'm almost out. I think I only have a couple left. So I grabbed another pack, and there's 12 in here. And I like this small size. The big ones are kind of hard to fit onto any kind of cute little decoration. And then these I haven't seen before. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but this is what's shedding all over the place. But they're really pretty. And there's it's just called onion grass. And they had it in the pink. I think this will look really cute in some Easter centerpieces. And I got the purple one. And I think they had a green one. I believe the other one was green, but I didn't like that one. It wasn't really pretty. So I just wanted the Easter colors. So I just got one of each of those. And I picked up a pack of these eight watercolors. I was actually watching um, Gracie Beach Bum 13. She has a channel here on YouTube. And she does such cute things with... Um, stamps and things and, and she paints them with watercolors and I want to go out and spend a lot of money on watercolors because I've never done this before so I'm going to give it a try with some of these. I have so many stamps and things so I'm going to try to do a little watercoloring and then if that works out maybe I'll go buy myself a really nice set. I don't know but we're going to give that a shot. And I picked up a jute string. I have it in the, like the natural color. Um, this one was in a green. I thought this would be nice for some I don't know what for yet, but we'll see. And you get 180 feet on here, and this is the little, it's skinnier jute. It's not like the real thick stuff, and I like working with this stuff on projects. I didn't have any green, so I grabbed that. And then I found this cute little memo pad, and I really don't need another memo pad, but look how cute this guy is. And then the paper is shaped just like the little owl inside, and it's all lined, and it's purple. And I don't know how many pages you get. 60 sheets. So you get 60 sheets of paper and a cute little owl. So I thought he'd be really cute for the summer just to have here on my desk. I like things that make me smile. So he's he'll make me smile while I'm trying to jot down a note, I'm guessing. Oh, and then I picked up another pack of the crystal, my tongue twister today, crystal clear tape. It's just like the scotch tape stuff. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years, and not all Dollar Trees carry it in these uh, six packs. So whenever I do find them at the one Dollar Tree I went to today, I was happy to see that they still carry them, because the one by me does not carry them anymore. They only have the individual, you know, with the dispenser attached to it. So I got these, so now I'm all stocked up on my tape. And I also have the tape dispenser from there, too, that they go in, and it works just fine. And then I didn't have any plain ribbon. I had all the ribbon I had for my decorating had like eggs or designs on them. And I thought this was really pretty. This you could use for all kinds of stuff for 
baby shower decorating, wreaths, just about anything. And I thought it was nice with the sparkle. And it's the wire ribbon, and it's three yards, and it's two and a half inches wide. And then same with this one. I got it in purple, and I thought that one was super pretty. So now I have some plain ribbon to work with. Because I did put a bow on my Easter um, wreath that I made, and I really wasn't crazy about it because, it, you know, it just kind of clashed with everything. And then I picked up two more of the wreath forms. These are the 14-inch wreath forms. I'm not making any wreaths anytime soon, but I used my last one up for my Easter wreath. And I like these. They're great. They're the perfect size. So I'm just going to hang them up and keep them for maybe the fall or whatever. And then I picked up two more of these candle holders. I love to use these in all kinds of decorating projects to put things on top of or just use it for a candle holder or whatever. But I like these and a lot of times I can't get these anymore either. They seem to be, they seem to disappear for a while and then they were fully stocked in them again today. So I got two of them. And then I found these. I thought these are really pretty. I'm not sure what's going to happen with these yet either. But these have like a, a black twisted wire wrapped around the top of them. And I just thought they were really cool. But there you go. They remind me of those things, and I can't remember what they're called. We used to collect them by the railroad tracks when I was a kid. That dates me. But if anybody remembers what those are, let me know. And then I just picked up two of these other little candle holders. I use these for like little vases and stuff. You don't have to use these to put a candle in. You can use these for like anything. You can put some candy in them, whatever you wanted to do. And they're just a nice size. And I like these because they're really um, heavy weighted on the bottom. So if you want to do like a nice tall anything with it, it's not going to tip over. Yeah, it's got a really thick bottom in it. I don't know what size. These are three inches. 3.6 inch diameter and 3.9 inches high. So there you go. I got those. They had lots of nice glass stuff today. I could have bought a ton more, but I have to stop. And then I picked up these because I thought these were so pretty, and I am going to incorporate these into some kind of a... I don't know what yet. But look how pretty those are. I hope this is coming across because the colors in here, there's like blues and purples, and it's just ever so subtle and they're just really gorgeous. So I got two of those. I probably should have picked up a couple more because I have a feeling these are not going to last in the Dollar Tree for long. But they are very pretty and the farther away you get them from the light, I don't know if I can block any of this, the more colors you see in it. They're just really, really pretty. But they would be so pretty with a candle in it. And then I picked up a few more of the succulents. I got this one, it was different, and I got this one. This one actually has a clip on it. I'm not going to be using the clip. I'll probably just pop that right off of there. But I thought that one was really nice. I love their succulents this year. They're just, just really nice and really, really realistic looking. And then I picked up another little cactus. I had a couple. I don't think I had this one, but I wanted to get another one of him because I used them up already. And you can just, these just pop out if you want to add them to something else. You don't have to keep them in the little pots, which I don't usually do. And then the last thing I got, oh, this was another impulse buy on my way out, was this cute little sign, and it says, Free Hugs, and it has a cactus in it. I thought that was just so funny. And then it's full of this purple sequence. Isn't that cute? I'm just going to hang this up here in my craft room. Maybe give it a shake every now and again. But I thought, oh, free hugs. So I think that is all that I got in my Dollar Tree haul for this week, guys. Um, yep, that is it. I have to look around because sometimes I stick things behind me. So I hope you all enjoyed this little haul that I had today. And I hope everyone has a great weekend. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.